بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ایز یو دیٹ وی ڈ ڈسکس ان دا ویری امپورٹنٹ ماڈیولز ان لنگوسٹکس دیٹ از مارفولوجی اینڈ ان مارفولوجی ان دس ویڈیو وی ار گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس دا ویری امپورٹنٹ تھیری دا ویری امپورٹنٹ فریم ورک دیٹ ٹیل اس واٹ از دا انٹرنل اسٹرکچر اف دا ورڈز اینڈ ان دس ویڈیو یو ول لرن دیٹ واٹ از دا ڈسٹریبیوٹڈ مارفولوجی اینڈ واٹ ار دا کورس اف دا ڈسٹریبیوٹڈ مارفولوجی Before moving toward our topic, I want to tell you that if you are new in our channel, please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for new updates about language and linguistics. And I want to tell you that this theory I want to dedicate mother of all the mother of all the world. And you must pray for the mothers. First you should you must pray your mothers and then my mothers. let's see to what our topic what is our topic at this in this after this video you will be able to learn that what is morphology and what is the internal structure of morphology with a some with an upper particular theory that is called the distributed morphology and if you want to know what is distributed morphology you must know that what are the course of distributed morphology the course of distributed morphology is that distributed morphology states that syntax is all the way down what it means it means that when we want to generate the sentence we have some systematic operations this is the syntax and distributed morphology states that if we wish to generate the new words and if we want to analyze the word the structure of word syntax will be applied at this level and so this states that syntax is all the way down the same syntax that is applying on the sentence level that sentence that syntax will be applied on the word level this is the core motive of the distributed morphology and they have claimed that syntax is all the way down means all the operation either within the sentence level or within the word level they have some structural dependency they have some structure they have some uniformity and if we want to know that how we can say how we can coherent the uniformity we must know that what are the course of distributed morphology and there are main three course of distributed morphology and distributed morphology will state that when we want to generate the word the one core is late insertion this is the late it, it means that in syntax we have an abstract layer on that abstract layer we will put the item and we will generate the sentences same is the case within the distributed morphology within the morphology if we want to generate the words we have some abstract frame and on that abstract frame when all abstract frame has been formed and after that we insert the lexical item that is called lead insertion the second is morphosyntactic decomposition it means that the every parts of the word we can decompose that particular part we can cut every every part of the word and we can analyze either this word is being operated as the noun the verb the adjective and whatever we can use the word the third one is under specification we have to specify the word what type of word and if we have generated one type of word we must say that this is the particular word and for these you must know that how we can apply this and how we can handle all this in within the morphology see these are the examples we have the word nation this is a word but you don't know that what the category of this word 
either the world is noun or the world is verb or the world is adjective what type of world nation is because this is the abstract frame here we have the roots and here we have some functional item some functional features in lexicon this is the root the system takes only the roots and the roots merge with the some functional items and if this functional item is noun this will become the noun this will become the small n p if this is the v the little v over that we can make the vp if this is the adjective the root will attaches to the functional category that will become the adjective phrase see this is the world nation here we have the root nation here we have the abstract feature abstract functional category and this is the n and after merging these two items we can make the np and if we have this type of word we can say that at this level we have the functional category that is v and this v merges with the root and then it will become the vp and this is the complex structure of nominal phrase and you can see that in this particular word we have the noun the verb and then the verb this is the complex word and distributed morphology tells us that how we can generate all type of word either the word are simple or the word complex and this tells us what is the syntax of the word and in this video you will be able to know that how we can generate the word syntactically and what are the operations what are the internal layer of the word that operates in our languages thank you very much